Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read a really silly book called Falling for Rapunzel. Now, a lot of you have seen the movie Tangled and you know the story of Rapunzel. This is a different version of it, and like I said, it's really silly. So it's Falling for Rapunzel by Leah Wilcox and illustrated by Lydia Monks. Once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. From up above he heard her whine, upset her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Here he is out the window, who's gonna try to save the day? Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. She thought he said, your underwear. That is so silly. Why would someone say throw down your underwear? <laughs> no, Rapunzel, your curly locks. Rapunzel threw down her dirty, you guessed it, socks. Oh my gosh. Would you want dirty socks being thrown at you? I would not either. Gross. Please love just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky. Right. In lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Uh-oh. Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Oh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. Perhaps, he sighed, this is a test, and bound by love, he did not rest. Look, here's her maid helping her out, and she looks kind of surprised. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? Twine is another word for rope or string. Oh my gosh, she heaved out her blue ribbon, swine. <gasps> By now the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up, do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know, at this the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Oh my gosh, what do you think she is going to send out next? I shudder to think. What rhymes with braid that has been in the picture? <gasps> the maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with the coincidence. She nimbly jumped up off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Oh my. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, you'll find I'm really down to earth. His young heart thrilled, he gave a hoot, for what was more the maid was cute. She set the, the prince upon his steed, then leapt behind him with graceful speed, and leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met, he nodded, how could I forget? Rapun Rapunzel watched them ride from sight, I'm glad I heard, finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. The end. Boys and girls, like I said, that's a really silly story. I hope you enjoyed reading Falling for Rapunzel as much as I enjoyed reading it.